Lily had finally reached Golem's Haven, home of the druids, and probably golems. Are they nice, Grandpa? Only the ones who weren't fooled by Crocius' lies. And here we are, Golem's Haven. We got bombs. I was going to say, it, it might be a lush resort now, but I think once <laughs> you're done with it, like, it's going to have a lot more holes. Yeah, well, you know, just because... Especially because you mistake the sprint button for throw bomb. Yeah, it turns out there isn't a sprint button. That's... Only death. Okay. Burbs. They look like nice burbs, though. Yeah. Well, they certainly didn't attack, so that's a thing. Well, they also had, like, the cute cartoon eyes. They look like what Sonic would rescue at the end of a level. Yeah. It's usually a good sign. Lily entered Golem's Haven for the first time, but something was wrong! The druids were under attack! Guess by what, Grandpa? Duh! Evil archers brainwashed by Crocus! Yes, because it's Archer's Haven! No, they sent their rock monsters to do their dirty work! Yikes, both sound quite terrible, but... Oh, oh. man, you can prove Grandpa <laughs> wrong right now and call it Archer's Haven from now on if you want. Archer's Haven. It was a group of evil druid archers attacking their peaceful brethren. Oh, no. Oh, man, and it did summon them from the ether. Ow. Just like in the story. Well, at least you do have that shield. Yeah, I just have to remember I have to use it. Oh yeah, there's a button press, like unlike Zelda, where you just sort of had it out all the time. Yeah. Okay, and up. Lily made sure to do their grass. You should always help out the elderly with their chores. Remember, grandkids. Ooh, druid feather. Oh yeah, you needed those. Maybe it's good you made it, archers. Archer's Haven. Also, I'm just gonna say right now that, like, this means they're rangers. Well, sure. Multiclassing's a trap, kids! It splits up your levels! Thank you for saving us, Sir Knight. Please come inside. What were they doing? Yeah, getting attacked by archers. <laughs> but there's more of them. <laughs> I know about the action economy. I watched the Druid's spell book or whatever it's called. Oh, yeah. Hmm. You're a lot younger than the other knights who passed through here. They already left to the temple, one of the last places where fairy clover still grows. But I fear their impatience will prevent them from activating the magic stones protecting the entrance. One must watch carefully and listen to the tones, not hack away like a fool. Oh man, sounds like a music puzzle. If you are also headed there, be wary of the druids that have defected from our group. They now serve the dreaded Dark Wizard. Crocus or Crocious. Did we ever agree on a... I don't think we did. <laughs> I think Grandpa says Crocious, but we can say however we want, I guess. Yeah. A flower bard. <laughs> These druids smell like old moss. <laughs> Would you like to hear a song? Yeah, sure, okay. Precious fairy clover, powerful and fair. Once budding and blooming here and there. Pure and fragrant, all the kingdom does declare. The druids now protect you with tender care. For only in the temple it grows so rare. Intruders and thieves, you better beware. Man, the meter on that was all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that wasn't great. Uh. <laughs> it was a dirge. <laughs> oh, boy. Ah. Uh. I want to know how he was able to sing that while playing the pan flute, though. That's right? impressive. That's... That takes skill. Maybe it's like a kazoo, and he just kazooed all the words at us, like... <laughs> uh, so they just told me bombs work better than... Uh, swords at killing golems. I mean, that kind of makes sense if they're big rock monsters. Yeah. The old clover shop... I'm going to say they probably don't have any of that rare clover that only grows in the one place. 
Although it'd be darn convenient if they did. They've got a crystal and a scroll and an ingot. Do I have an ingot? I don't have an ingot. I think you had an ingot of something and then you used it. Didn't you have to talk to the the blacksmith guy? Yeah. Or no, he, it was a cog. They had a, That's what they it had was. A cog. So I actually want that to be shield and X to be bombs. But now, now I can buy an ingot. Now I just have to get uh, druid feathers and I can build the thing. I also need to come back with 100 gold for that scroll. Yes. Die flower. I like how calm the druids are about you just wrecking nature here. <laughs> It'll grow back. It's up. You're just bringing balance. Yep. For too long has there been natural grass. <laughs> hey, out of the way. Jerk. Or he just knows what adventurers <laughs> do and he's trying to protect what little he has. I can't really blame him. <laughs> Quick, run back, it's mine now. Oh no! It is... A resurrection flower! They're said to restore... Sorry. I can't read that that fast. I'm sorry, especially when I'm doing the, the, the grandpa. Sorry, grandpa sorry. takes a minute. Got to put on the spectacles. Otherwise, I'll flub a line and make a spectacle. <laughs> That's actually a good question. Why don't I have armor? Because you're wearing your graduation robes. Yeah, I suppose. Or, but... or what have you. And then there was a big attack, and, like, I don't know Step if there was ever time. <laughs> Fair enough. You're a young and impulsive hero. They don't need it. Oh, the post office. Oh, yeah, the post office guy's sending this lady letters. <laughs> it's I hope not... this one's from a cute night. Nope, it's from the mailman. Jennifer, or Jen for short, or J. Dog, J. Drizzle, J. To the Pizzo, Little J, Jiggy J, Jay Z, whatevs. Okay. All right. I hope you have to deliver their mixtape to the recording bard <laughs> to be magically <laughs> inscribed on a singing scroll or something. That'd be neat. Carefully enchanted on a magic cylinder. Ooh, potion. Using, like, I don't know, the rights of Edison or something. <laughs> it can only be recorded by a powerful sound wizard, Thomas Dolby. Something about rune sticks. Yeah, Being there's... Bored. I guess it's... there's not much to do when you're communing with nature all day. Yeah. Oh man, okay. So these stone huts totally remind me of the ones in The Last Jedi. And you are just, like, blowing holes in everything. <laughs> breaking their wheelbarrows. Cutting up big funny stone shapes that have been there for forever that were naturally formed by, you know. Yeah. The ocean and, like, wind and erosion. <laughs> like it do. The druids of Golem Saven are quite friendly. Well, except for the elder druid. He doesn't really like outsiders. The others invited me to come back later and study their magic. I said yes, but only if they can teach me how to make my own living rock pet. I'd never have to feed it or pick up poop. Woohoo! Oh like, man, see? Crusty old, like, druid that doesn't want to teach people? Yeah. It's just like Luke! It occurs to me I can't, uh, remember who was voicing Eliza to begin with. Uh, you were voicing Eliza. Uh, I have to remember how. <laughs> Been a little bit since we've done some of the voices. The reason I'm on point is because I do grandpa voice, like, half of my day. <laughs> All the time, like, for really no reason. Whenever I go to pick up something heavy and it hurts, or I fall down the stairs or something. That's sort of my go-to when I feel particularly, like, low. A blossom spirit! These powerful beings are sworn to aid you when released. Was it a scary spirit, grandpa? Like, did it have big red eyes and breathe fire? Uh, sorta. It had big wings and antennae coming from its head. Oh man, it's a butterfly. No one expects the butterfly. Never. Alright, well once I'm done looting this town, we'll go fight some golems. 
Looting haven. <laughs> I spend my days searching for lost artifacts. It's a very exhausting profession. I could really use a scrumptious jar of mushroom soup to give me energy. Say, I'll trade you a worthless artifact I found the other day for your jar of mushroom soup. Deal? I forgot you had that. That's gotta be old by now. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see how it is. You've decided that you're not gonna trade. Murder is the only route for you. Yeah, well. That blew up his desk. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so. Gotta press the button. But... Yeah. No. No. What did I you used do? It. Did you use it? Wait. That wasn't mushroom soup. That was invulnerability potion. Ah, uh, that's, well, that's un unfortunate. That's unfortunate for other reasons, <laughs> considering you have to go fight golems. Are you just trying to see what else you can blow up now, since well, you happen to be invulnerable? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> My life is free from consequence. <laughs> Let it all burn. Oh, the yeah. hero was acting very strangely. Everyone was afraid. Ah. And now I find the exit from town. Oh, oh, oh have we have we moved from exploration to like we're seriously actually lost now? Well, I mean, just because I don't know how to leave town. No, I'm There's not. No, I'm not judging. I'm the last person to judge. I was just curious because I mean it's a Zelda like so I mean you could just be looking for the secret thing that you don't know you need yet like oh, yeah. the fish to get the cat to move so that you can get the yo-yo for the kid so that they'll give you some other thing for you know five or six more quests you know Zelda puzzle stuff uh, the only the, thing that stops me from playing or Twilight at least completing. Princess is the beginning of Twilight Princess <laughs> Where you have to do all the town's odd jobs in order to get to the other end of town. Whoa! Hello! Uh, I don't know if you want to go down there and deal with that. Also, that is the biggest gnome I've ever seen. Oh, he cast Confuse! Yeah, that straight up traverses my controls. Well, I think that might be the most terrifying thing you've fought so far. Yeah, come on! Well, sure. I can see why nobody attacks the druids if this is just what's roaming around. <laughs> right? That's... that's a thing. Well, you look vulnerable. I guess you could have thrown bombs at the gnomes. But there's this. Uh, can you climb up the vines? Uh. No. Uh, oh. Whoop. Yeah, that, that goes about as well as you'd expect. <laughs> okay, so that's not a thing I can do for now. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you're going to need that later for something, but... Ah! I think it's a golem! Nah, like a, swords like a, don't work on golems. It's like point. a tiny golem. That one was only a head. I bet we see ones that are beefier, rockier. I don't know. Oh! Uh, it's Wispy Woods. It's oh. now friendly. Because I hit it. I mean, you know, I'm not going to judge. Maybe it's just a really high-level druid. That could be. Well, these are buttons. I wonder if I get these guys to stand on buttons. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, what was it? Uh, Kamiko did that. Yeah. Come here. Hey. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Only that's gonna work. Hey, that suggests those are druids. They drop druid feathers. How much you want to bet if I put the pots on those? But you'd have to not break them. Yeah. Well, you know. Anyway, next time on Endless Mode, I'm going to reset the screen and test that out. 
All right. Thanks for watching.